Okay, we're back again. We're gonna do some more subnetting. We're gonna muscle this out. Ah! Okay. <laughs> we gotta have fun while we do this, right? Yep. We gotta write. We're gonna take out our our subnetting mojo right here, right? Okay. Here's a question that you're gonna see on uh, in the CCNA. Something like this. Hey, you're the administrator, and you need to assign a server, a or a router a static IP address and you need to put that router you want to give that router a static IP address and it needs to be the first usable host okay so it needs to be usable host the first usable host right but in the fifth subnet and this is the number they give you 192.224 the 10 network right the 10 network 10.0 network but it's been subnetted from a slash 24 to a slash 29. So who is the first usable host in the fifth subnet? Okay, and then the first thing you want to do when you look for this situation, okay, in this situation, you want to look in the question and say, can you use the zero subnet as the first subnet? Right? In this case, we're going to say yes, zero is the first subnet. Okay, so Zero is the first subnet, okay? So, how do we solve this? Right here, magic number. We're gonna muscle it with the magic number. Okay, now, what does the magic number tell us? Where our networks are. Okay, so, slash 29, let's find out what is the magic number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, dot. There's 24 ones. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Three zeros. The last bit, the last one, is our magic number. What place value is it in? Eight. This is 128, 64. 32, you said 8, right? Mm -hmm. 16, 8. You are right. The magic number in this situation is what? The number 8. Why? It's in the 8's place, in the binary uh, place values for 8 bits, right? So the magic number is 8. Why is that? Well, this bit is, uh, so it goes here 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7. This is the 128th place, the 64, the 32, the 16, the 8, the 4, the 2, the 1. And if we write this out, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, we see that the last one is in the 8th place, right? 2 to the, uh, whatever it is, not 2 to the 1, but 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3rd, power, right? And you see that, okay, it's to the third power, it's in the eighth place, blah, 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 the magic number is eight. Now let's answer the question, okay? After a while, you don't have to even do this. You just look at it and you know, 24, huh? 29, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 5, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8. Magic number is eight. All right. So, what are the networks? 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. There's six, the first six networks. We're looking for what? The fifth subnet. This is the first subnet. Second, third, fourth, fifth subnet is the 32 to the 39 32 to 39 network, 32 is the network number, 39 is the broadcast number, so the answer is 33. 33. 33 is the first usable host in the fifth subnet if this is your network and it's been subnetted to a slash 29. That's it. That you have to answer that question guaranteed on the test. Absolutely. Not only that, we could tell you where broadcast address is, we can tell you where the network address is, we could tell you the <coughs> second, the third subnet, you, you name it, we got it. If zero is not allowed, 
That means we can't use this, then the first subnet becomes 8. But we said 0 is the first subnet, so we can use 0, so we can keep going and we start there. That's it.